CV, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about troll dolls. But before we get started, if you have not seen in my previous video, I do have a new background behind me. It is sparkly mermaid scales which I love. And if you would like to win it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse V channel, turn on your notification bell, and then head over to my Instagram page, follow me there, and DM me the color of mermaid scale you would have if you were a mermaid. That's all you have to do. All right, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about troll dolls today because as you guys know, I love nostalgia. And I know in recent years, like in the past five years, there's been like new troll dolls and new troll movies. I'm not gonna be talking about those. I'm gonna be talking about the ones that were around when I was a kid because I know nothing about the new stuff. I am talking about the OG ones. And believe it or not, those came out in the 50s. So we're gonna start with the history, the weird facts, you guys know the drill. And then we're gonna move on to the creepier stuff. So let's jump right into the history. Believe it or not, the first troll dolls were actually wooden. A man named Thomas Dam had a talent for carving figures out of wood. He started making little gifts for his children that included Included these cute little troll dolls. So he began to sell them door to door. The word of these really cool wooden items got around the town and soon there was a high demand. So he opened a factory and began making them out of rubber. And by the end of the 50s, he was selling more than 10,000 trolls in Denmark each year. So the popularity of these ramped up so, so fast and it started from just this small business. So if you guys didn't know, trolls are originally from Scandinavian folklore. Stories of trolls have been told in various fairy tales, but their primary characteristics have always been their extreme ugliness. In their mythology, they often live under bridges or in the mountains. They spend their time tricking humans out of money, and they're always hideous. So that is why the creator of these dolls made them with wrinkly faces, bulbous noses, and oversized ears, but he still managed to make them adorable as well. He literally said that he hoped people would find these dolls so ugly that they would laugh and he says he really wants to make people smile so he actually wanted to make them ugly that's so weird and speaking of trolls under the bridge when my sister and I were little my grandparents would take us on these hikes through a forest and there was this one point in the middle of the forest where there was this creek running through it and over this creek was this big wooden bridge and my grandma would stop before we crossed the bridge and she would say this bridge is owned by a scary troll he he lives under it and will eat anybody that crosses it. And my sister and I would be like so freaked out. And she said the only way we could make it across is if we stomped our feet over the bridge and chanted, troll under the bridge, troll under the bridge troll under the bridge. And we literally did that every single time. I just had to mention it because it reminded me of that. But yeah, creepy bridge trolls is basically where the troll dolls were inspired from. So let's talk about their hair because that's like the most iconic part about them. The trolls wild crazy hair has become their trademark. The Icelandic sheep's wool used and glued on the tops of the dolls for a bushy exaggerated mane. People have said that it's strangely soothing to the touch. And eventually they went from making it sheep's wool to just synthetic hair. This was because the demand for these toys were just too, too high. They were using way too much sheep's wool. So because these dolls were so popular, there were some copycats. By the early 1960s, trolls were a huge international trend. And because of their immediate success, knockoff trolls showed up on shelves all over America. Their names were Wishnicks, Fawny Trolls, and Lucky Schnooks. I've never heard of any of those three brands, but they're copycats. So a Weird fact is that there is a real troll museum. There's a woman in Ohio named Singrid and she calls herself the troll queen. She actually claims herself that she is a troll just being disguised as a human. And she has used her passion for the creatures to amass a collection of nearly 3,000 unique trolls, setting a Guinness World Record. So she's created this huge museum with all of these trolls. She's called it the Troll Hole. And currently there are 18,000 trolls in there. It's a lot of trolls. And she apparently gives guided tours there once a day for 10 bucks, so pretty cool stuff. And then, as you guys probably know, DreamWorks came out with a movie in 2016, which I haven't seen. 
not really into that stuff. All right, let's talk about some two really creepy stories that have to do with trolls. The first one is called The Haunted Troll on eBay. So much like a paranormal game, if it exists, it's probably on eBay and it's probably haunted. It's crazy, you can go on eBay and literally type in anything haunted and it will be there. You could put like haunted piano, haunted couch, haunted light bulb, there'll be one there. So one day someone posted a listing of a troll doll that they said was very haunted and they wanted to get rid of it ASAP. They actually said in quote, it's ruining our lives. The person named this troll doll Beast and said that one day it just showed up at her front door in a basket. There was no note and she had no idea who it was from, but she assumed it was just from one of her neighbors to give as a gift to her kid. She had a little girl who was five years old at the time. Now the troll doll looked a little bit weird. Some of its hair was pulled out, parts of the rubber on its body was all scraped, and one of its eyes were missing. But her daughter still really, really wanted it even though it looked so weird, so they kept it. And it didn't take long for weird things to start happening. The mother put this troll doll on a shelf in her daughter's room over her bed. And the first night she woke up to her screaming and saying that it fell off the shelf and hit her face. And the next night the same thing happened again. So this troll would just literally fling itself off the shelf and land on this little girl's face. So the mother just thought it was a coincidence and said that her daughter might as well just sleep with the troll doll in the bed so it wouldn't fall on her. But this time she woke up claiming the doll started pulling her hair and wouldn't let her sleep. So they put the doll in her toy chest. But the girl woke up again and said the doll was knocking on the top of the toy chest trying to get out. So the mom completely moved the doll out of the room. She put it into the basement storage. But in the morning the doll was standing at her bedroom door. So in the eBay listing she says that no matter where she puts it in the house, it keeps trying to get closer and closer to the little girl, which is so creepy. So she's begging for somebody to take it. It's not up on eBay anymore, so I don't know if she gave up or if someone actually bought it from her, but it's a very creepy story. And the next story is called the troll doll profile picture. There's a story about this girl who lived on a farm and was randomly messaged by this strange Facebook account back in 2010. This account had no pictures, no posts, no information on it. The only visible thing she could see see was that its profile picture was that of a troll doll. And what was even weirder was that this message she received from this strange account was a riddle. This is what the riddle said. I have hundreds of ears, but I can't hear a thing. What am I? And she was so confused by this and did not want to answer him. But the whole rest of her day, she was thinking about the answer to this riddle. How could something have ears but not hear anything? So she asked her family and friends, but they told her to just forget about it. You know, there's always going to be strange people on the internet. But the next day, the troll doll account messaged her again. This time saying, I'm going to stay where I am until you figure it out. So as you can imagine, she was starting to get a little bit more anxious about it. Why would she care? about where this person was and if they stayed or left. Why was that her problem? So she looked at the riddle again. I have hundreds of ears, but I can't hear a thing. What am I? Still not sure what the answer was. She went about her day, try not to think about it. But in the evening when she was lying in bed, it suddenly came to her, a cornfield. That was the answer. Well, she lived on a farm and the neighboring field to her house was a cornfield. A chill went down her spine and she walked over to her window. She looked outside and standing in the cornfield was a shadowed figure of a man, not moving, just looking up at her window. She screamed and called the police, but when they arrived and looked through the cornfield with their flashlights, they couldn't find a man anywhere. The only thing they found sitting in the dirt was a troll doll. And that's how the story ended. I feel like it's a little bit cheesy just because like, why? Why the troll doll, you know? And also, why didn't she look up the riddle on Google? That's like the first thing I would have done if I was her. But I mean, this story is definitely more of a creepypasta, I'm assuming. I hope it is at least. But I thought it was like an interesting one to put in this troll video. And uh, yeah, that's all the creepy stuff we're gonna be talking about today. If you have any other creepy or weird facts about troll dolls, definitely comment them down below. And if you want me to keep doing these nostalgic videos, give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.